Did a number on Jim Jamison as uh, Hart's first family comes out victorious. You might take the uh, robe if you'd care to also. Sue in a situation where 357 finds the victory going to the team of Landell. And Dennis Condre coming out here. Stagger Lee. You look at Will. Feeling great. Feeling great. Stagger. Oh, all right, man. You're looking fantastic. Man, you're looking good, too. And I know you're going to be uh, coming up this week looking for that Mid America title. And I think uh, we talked a little while ago, as you may have heard, to Hart and Landell and all of them. They forget the fact you had that Mid America title and had it for a pretty good while, too. You know, I did have it. I had it for six months, and uh, and I didn't think I would keep it that long, but I held it for a long, long time. You know, you know, I'm sure that everybody heard Jimmy Hart out here a while ago, Buddy Landell. You know, Buddy, you beat me last week. I agree. You know, due to the fact Jimmy Hart throwed him a change and everything, he beat me. Mm -hmm. But, you know, I heard Buddy Landell said he want to take my mask yeah, off. Yeah, Hart said he's you the know, man that's going to do it. And he want to keep the belt, too. And, right, and right. And, you know, being a, being a champion, Lance, you have got to concentrate on one thing, and that's keeping that belt. And Buddy Landell, I don't, I'm, I'm, I'm really worried about him because it's going to be pretty hard for him to concentrate on my mask and concentrate on that belt. <laughs> well, you don't think he can handle both those things at one so. time, huh? But you know what? I'm going to light the bird, you know, being the nice guy that I am. I'm going to light the bird a little bit. I'm going to do Buddy Landell a big favor. I'm going to take the old stagger off for a while. Ah! Uh... to say do you know what you just did you know i know what i just did only thing buddy landell is gonna have to worry about is that keeping that middle america belt because i'm coming after it that's all it is to it man i believe he's made up his mind Coco pull it off good luck to you out there partner kind of a uh <laughs> a stunner <laughs> after all of the hollering about pulling the mask off and boy he did it right right here uh... oh, okay all right no all right baby now what are you gonna do about it what are you gonna do about it hey i'm not hey. gonna do anything yeah but tell you what that's coco where you can tell by the split in his big teeth and you can tell by the split in his head that i put in there come here that's coco where now what are you gonna do about it baby i'll prove my point eddie morning i want eddie morning hold it go back to it go get eddie morning corner get eddie morning eddie morning Come out here. Don't wake any more than that. He's back right there sleeping. You don't have to worry about pulling any masks no, off, at least. No, He's taking care of that. I just proved my point I've been trying to prove out here for six months, baby. Come here. Come here, Eddie. Come on, Eddie. Come here. All right. Okay. Eddie Marlin, now, were you asleep in the back as usual, or did you see the monitor? I see. You saw the monitor. Okay. Now, first of all, I want y'all to hold me a copy of this tape up there because a lot of things are going on around here I don't like. Now, that was Coco Ware. Am I right, right. or am I wrong? That right. was right. All right, say it a little bit louder. Yeah, it was. All right, he right. said he was right, right? right. Okay. Right. So now, what are you going to do about it? You remember the stipulation? The stipulation was when we started fighting this jerk was if we beat him, he'd have to leave the city. Period, comma, question mark. And then he came back under a mask, and you know it, I know it, and the people know it. And you stood out here and you said, well, Jimmy, if you can take the mask off, with it and prove who he is, then he'll leave town, right? Well, the mask just came off, so now you stand by your word, baby. He leaves the city. Evidently, Jimmy, you don't keep up with time, because Coco Ware's time was up 30 days ago. He's what? been wearing that mask for the last 30 days just because he wanted to. Right. He is legally... Uh, hey, Jimmy, did you understand you that? You are crazy, man. You are out of your mind. Let me tell you something, baby. You know what? You, you, this is the last time you're messing around over the family. I am sick and tired of you. You know, you, all of you, you play favorites to everybody, Eddie Marlin. You have special referees. They have any type match they want. You want to do anything you want to do. Buddy, get him. Come on now. All right. No, I'm tired of being ripped off. The family is tired of this. He'll put his hand on anybody he wants to put his hand on. You ain't going to do nothing about it right now. Get him. Get him.
that's the kind of guy right there that needs some kind of action taken against him coming out here and pulling that stuff with you, Eddie. Let me tell you something. He's legally, he can legally wrestle his Coco Ware, and I can legally take action against Jimmy Hart. Jimmy Hart, that's you listen right. to this. I could find you, I could suspend you right here. But you got a title match with Coco Ware. You're talking about your burdens heavy with all those weights. I'm going to referee that match. I'll referee it when he has it. And I'll see if I can lighten Jimmy Hart's burden. Special referee, Jimmy. Go think that one over for a little while. Hart and Landell and Jimmy Cornette.